Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny could be one of the biggest financial disasters in Lucasfilm's history. Look at these headlines. New Indiana Jones movie tracking to be a box office disaster. And this one coming from Deadline, it says Disney's Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny last sold the top spot on the domestic box office charts, collecting an underwhelming $60 million in its opening weekend. And it goes on to say Indiana Jones 5, one of the most expensive movies ever. And they have the cost around $295 million before marketing. It says it'll take a heroic feat that uh, will make this movie profitable. Even though this film made $130 million globally, some people are predicting that this film might not even hit $380 million total because people have checked out. They don't want to see it. They don't care. They don't want to see an old Indiana Jones running across the screen. They don't want to see what they've done to this iconic character. They're saying if that stays the same, like it doesn't even hit $380 million, this could be Lucasfilm's biggest box office disaster and Disney's biggest financial disaster of 2023. And let's compare that to the last Indiana Jones film, The Crystal Skull, which came out in 2008. Their opening weekend was 125 million. So yes, this is a total disaster. I guess if there's some good news, you could at least head on over there to Disney and buy a $35 cupcake in celebration of this Indiana Jones film. Dear Lord, please just make it stop. And everyone over there at Lucasfilm should be embarrassed. I didn't even do a movie review for this channel. I just talked about it live. But this movie is not better than The Crystal Skull. The Crystal Skull could be categorized as a bad film, but it doesn't kill the character of Indiana Jones like this movie does. Uh, it's a complete disaster. Um, I'm not gonna spoil it or anything like that. But uh, the box office proves that no one was interested in a broke down, beat down Indiana Jones, just like you promoted it, just like what you did to Luke Skywalker, just like what you did to Han Solo, made Han Solo a deadbeat dad that just ran out on his family. Han Solo gave up, I mean, uh, Luke Skywalker gave up on all his friends and just went to an island to die. Indiana Jones in this film is going through a divorce, he's an alcoholic. And he's an old man that just bangs on the doors of his neighbors, telling them to turn their music down. That's what you've done to the character of Indiana Jones. And the box office is speaking loud and clear that people are sick and tired of you ruining their characters. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This story is just going to get wilder and wilder, I'm telling you. And maybe this is the movie that just rings the bells and things begin to change because there's no excuse anymore. You can't use the nostalgia to get people in the theater. You can't blame it on whatever you want to blame. People know what Lucasfilm has been doing to characters and they didn't want to see this on the big screen and they didn't show up.